What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got She killed her family over the clips. Daniel Aoka Johnson Miss Mystic Lipstick. Um I heard about this. I just never got top three yet to you know, I was doing stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. I'm curious now at this point. <laughs> Danielle Sherakaya Johnson, who also went by Danielle Ayoka, or simply Mystic Lipstick, was a well-known influencer, passionate astrologer, dedicated mother, and loving partner. That is until she infamously had a psychotic breakdown that left three people dead, including Danielle herself, with one little girl left to pick up the pieces and continue living a life permanently traumatized. In just four hours, Danielle channeled her inner Chris Benoit and was almost successful in ending the lives of her entire family. But why? Danielle was born September 25th, 1989. She had a very tough time growing up. In a shocking and heartbreaking post on Twitter, she admitted being subjected to years of molestation and abuse. Dang. Dang. From the age of just two years old, I was sex assaulted throughout most of my childhood. I worked incredibly hard to get to the point where I even felt safe finishing the act of intercourse because of it. I was molested by a family member, a teenage girl when I was a child, and raped by my best friend. Not only this, but she also suffered a near-death experience a year later when she was three. At a young age, Danielle had a near-death experience at three years old, which served as her rite of passage into shamanism, coming from a rich lineage of indigenous shaman and medicine woman, Danielle's spiritual gifts begin to blossom. The worst thing about all of this is that her parents planned this entire thing. Yes, he heard that right. This near-death experience was completely orchestrated by her parents. Her family straight up almost killed her as a toddler in order to do an initiation ritual. Danielle claimed this is how she gained the ability to see spirits and demons. I didn't train to become a medium. I was born this way. I'm a shaman by birthright and was initiated in by near-death experience when I was really young and started seeing spirits and demons when I was a kid. For all the uncultured swine like me out there, shamanism is a religious practice that involves a practitioner known as a shaman. Shamans direct spirits and spiritual energy to help heal and aid people. They can also use these spirits and spiritual energy for divination, which is a form of fortune telling. Also, I'm a shaman because it runs in my family. Your bloodline needs to carry the a gift for you to be born into it from my understanding. This is the biggest travesty of Daniel's life and it's one of the biggest reasons as to why I always point people who went through traumatic experiences to therapy. Therapy has helped me out a ton in navigating my feelings and emotions. Sometimes you really just need someone to talk to and other times you just need somebody to help guide you to the other side. I don't know if Danielle was in therapy. She recommended therapy to others, sometimes in a condescending or insulting way and sometimes in a genuine and helpful way. Other posts around the topic deal with color therapy or using therapy in tandem with her own alternative healing practices. All of this is exactly why this video is sponsored by Better <laughs> I just tricked all of you, okay? I am way too small for a sponsor. Keep in mind, all throughout her childhood, she continued to endure years and years of sexual abu abuse. This unfortunate series of events with Christinda when she turned 21. This is when she was raped by someone she considered her best friend at the time. When I lost my virginity, I hopped up in the middle of the act and said I couldn't do it anymore. I have been sex sexually and physically abused by men since I was two. I had no idea why I wasn't comfortable with sex sexual intimacy. Even after healing that trauma, which took years, I still cannot feel forced. People have a past that has nothing to do with your daughter. I was when I was 21. I cried after it happened because it was a friend. I said no repeatedly but gave in. I didn't acknowledge it was until years after it happened because I blamed myself for giving in. The feeling of violation was still there. I was in an almost 10 year relationship with someone who exploited these traumas, tried to convince me I couldn't be anything without him and is still to this day trying to ruin my life through lying to people so they'll attack me too it's never fucking ending it's imp damn it just sound like some fucked up shit already that just feel bad for
It's important to know I'm not telling you guys about her struggles to garner sympathy. We aren't going to cry about this while listening to the world's smallest violin. I know that's f***ed up, but hear me out. I'm telling you this because it's important to understand how trauma can impact a person's life. Danielle got into healing because of these traumas. A huge part of her life was built around trying to unpack and turn something so negative into a positive. Sex was never safe for me and completely f my view of myself up and it's one of the reasons I got into healing. I didn't have any want to help me understand that I was a and that I wasn't a bad person because of what I was exposed to. Danielle was 34 years old when she crashed out, and it seems she never fully recovered from this trauma. I think her holding on to this, mixed with the nature of how engagement works on Twitter, created a recipe for disaster. Now that you understand the background of this tortured soul, we can get into what culminated into the bloody eclipse. To people in her regular life, Danielle was just Danielle. But to her loyal followers, Danielle was mystic lipstick. Our favorite go-to astrologer. Danielle Ayoka, better known as at Mystic Lipstick on Twitter. Danielle, welcome to the show. I'm so happy to see you. Like, I think I feel good. I feel like, you know, my blood pressure is good. You know, I'm in my 30s now. I got to worry about things like that. So. Amen, amen. I'm right here with you. I'm like, it's beating right. Um, <laughs> it's <yeah>. beating right. <laughs> I think the I'm literal pretty home right now. How about you guys? Her brand of astrology insights and spiritual healing left many of her supporters in awe. She was exceptionally good at her job, and she took her spiritual practices very seriously, amassing over 102,000 followers over her career, with certifications on Reiki healing and 10 other alternative healing practices. Many people regarded her as a thorough and legitimate force online. But when news of the 2024 total eclipse started creating headlines, many people People in the astrology community, like Danielle, grew worried. We're all gonna die! There's a common misconception that Danielle killed her family because of the eclipse. This is not true. In many religious and spiritual communities, an eclipse is looked at as a very negative and ominous event. For example, some Christians see the eclipse as a potential sign of the end times because it's supposed to happen when Christ returns to earth. Here's a short passage from the Bible that echoes this belief. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Many other religions have long and complicated reasons as to why the eclipse is bad as well. Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, and more all see the eclipse as a dark omen. I myself appreciate the eclipse for giving us the fifth blessed king, Femto, but I realize not many people share this sentiment. But back to my original point here. There are multiple instances where Danielle saw an eclipse as a totally normal thing. Although she was very cautious around the idea, this tweet from 2023 essentially personified her general attitude towards the lunar event. Why is the universe testing me so hard? At Mystic Lipstick, like it's little ish that's blatantly disrespectful and wrong. Girl, it's just the eclipse. Don't let it get to you. Just look for the character development it's trying to incite in you. Pluto just went retrograde. However, I do have to note, in terms of the 2024 total eclipse, Danielle was starting to become what most people consider unhinged. If any spiritual account is not revealing the truth right now, they are fake. They are lies. They have sold out and are on the wrong side. Wake up. Wake up. There's power in your choice. There's power in your consent. We can do it. Breaking. Government Kathy Hochul says this morning's earthquake in New York was caused by combination of climate change and white supremacy. This is the truth. They have to reveal their plans to be faultless. It is the code. White supremacy is designed to kill everyone else. This is the agenda. This is the agenda. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Love, 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 Sound like to me, Danielle's tweaking out right now. Sound like to me, some shit's going on and she needs help. I need to eat, so I'm gonna hurry up and finish this video so I can eat. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? Did you like the video? You mean to tell me you've been sitting right here and you didn't like this motherfucking video? Yes, you're gonna see my battle scars, nigga. I'm gonna tell you right now. Like the motherfucking video, nigga. Like the motherfucking video, nigga. Like the motherfucking video, nigga. Let's get back to the video, nigga. Because now I done fucked up my camera. By getting my big headed ass all the way in the camera. Now I'm trying to fix it again. 
good enough. No, 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 Retweet for power. We have one. Wake up, wake up. The apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears, listen. Your time to choose what you believe is no. If you believe a new world is possible for the people, retweet no. There is power in choice. There is power in choice. Repost to make the choice for the collective. These increasingly disturbing posts were very unusual for Danielle. But you have to remember, guys, this is Twitter we're talking about. It's actually super normal for users on the platform to tweet outrageous things for clicks and likes, and Danielle doing just that raised no real red flags for her online community. However, it's important to note some of her fans have speculated she may have had BPD or some other mental disorder. Others even think she came into contact with a demon that possessed her to do these horrible crimes. Whatever the truth is, late night, April 7th, Danielle would faithfully show the world how vile her capacity for evil truly was. It was mere hours before the day of the eclipse, and Danielle and her fiancé, Jalen Cheney, were heard arguing in their Woodland Hills apartment. From what I've gathered, Danielle and Jalen didn't have any notable history of fighting or arguing. In fact, them arguing like this was a super rarity. On the outside looking in, their relationship couldn't seem any better. 3.40 a.m. A few hours after they started arguing, Danielle had stabbed Jay Lynn, her long-term boyfriend and fiancé, to death. This event happened right in front of her nine-year-old daughter. This was the first horrific event the child witnessed that night. But like many of you already know, this is only the beginning of the bloodshed. Almost immediately after murmuring Jalen, Danielle decided to flee away from the scene. She forced her children into her Porsche Cayenne and stepped on the gas, ramming the apartment's garage gate open as she sped away. 4.30 a.m. A little under an hour had passed, and around 4.30 a.m. on the 405 freeway in Westchester, Danielle had the bright idea to kick her children out of the car. Mind you, this is on a fairly busy highway with a good amount of cars all going around 65 miles per hour. When the 9-year-old understandably rejected this idea, Danielle pushed both the 9-year-old and 8-month-old child onto the highway. You have to understand that this 9-year-old girl was actually holding the 8-month-old baby when this all happened. This baby was named Soul, and she was struck almost immediately by a moving vehicle. The nine-year-old girl barely made it out the freeway alive herself. Danielle probably seen this happen as she continued to speed away, which most likely led her to take her next drastic action. Just 30 minutes after pushing her innocent children into traffic, Danielle was topping out her car's speed, going over 100 miles per hour, when she intentionally hit a tree, instantly killing herself on the corner of an intersection. The wreck was horrendous, and I imagine her body was disfigured beyond recognition. I know that's morbid, but we gotta be serious here. On the bright side, her nine-year-old daughter is set to make a full physical recovery. Mentally, however, this will undoubtedly follow her for the rest of her life. It's unclear what Danielle was arguing with Jalen about, but one can imagine her erratic behavior was not doing any favors in cultivating a fruitful discussion. Danielle killed an innocent man and an infant child in cold blood. Her actions are completely inexcusable, which is exactly why I said we're not going to just listen to her dramatic experiences with a little sad violin. That little girl obviously saw more than she ever should have seen in any, any life yesterday. So I just hope someone's taking care of her because... She's gonna need it. What she did is, is evil, horrendous, unforgivable. Just because she had traumatic life experiences growing up, and I mean, I can sympathize with that. I can see why people care about that angle of the story. However, the truth is, she literally stabbed someone, and then she proceeded to try to kill both of her children on the freeway before killing herself. This is violent, psychotic behavior. She's insane. Yeah, that she had mental problems. To do what she did, the way that she did it, yeah, it was, it's just awful. I would like to take a moment to reflect and appreciate Jalen Cheney, who died a senseless death at the hands of the person he loved most in the world. Jalen was born May 1994 in Palm Bay City, Florida. He was a good man who decided to... W, W for giving us background on everybody. W, you know. That, that's just crazy, though. That you even... You even did that. To your boyfriend and your eight-month-old child. I'm glad the nine-year-old survived, but at what cost? She got so much to unpack and unravel that 
the, that is just that is just crazy. Anyways, back to the video. Something positive with his life. He was a loving father and an accomplished veteran. When Jalen turned 22, he decided to join the Air Force and fight for his country, becoming a senior airman and working as a squadron armament technician in the 31st Munitions Squadron. On December 21st, 2020, at Aviano Air Base in Italy, he even conducted an 18th month inspection on a MAU 12 heavy duty dual piston pyrotechnic ejector rack. I honestly have no idea what that is, but judging from how complicated it was to say it, it's out of my pay grade. <laughs> Not only did Jalen do all of this, he also stepped up and happily raised a child he had no part in making. The nine-year-old girl who survived this incident is not his biological daughter, yet he cared for her with the same intensity that he cared for his eight-month-old daughter, Sol. Danielle was still married to the nine-year-old girl's father and going through a lengthy divorce when this was all going down. So that's why they weren't married. They were just fiancés at the time. I can confirm this because he gave her a ring. Here's a picture of the ring. Jalen's mom, Juanita Chiricas, has helped so many different news platforms get accurate pictures of her son. She also created a GoFundMe that aims to cover the cost of the double funeral, as well as any additional funeral cost. She's very close to making the $60,000 goal. If you guys have the means to, please consider donating if possible. I can't imagine the pain she felt when she heard the news. Reports say the neighbors found Jalen's body around 7.30 a.m. I saw blood on the floor, the door open. I started calling in there. Uh, I said, hello, hello, anybody there? You know, nobody answered. And I saw two legs that were on the, on the floor. And um, so I called 911. I said, you know, something bad has happened here. Friends of ours heard pleading, blood-curling screams, pleading for his life. If you guys hear anybody screaming in your apartment complex or whatever, your house, I don't know anywhere. If you guys hear anything, any issue whatsoever that's going on outside of your house, residence, home, whatever, you're walking around, you hear somebody scream, call the police. Just make a little report out of it. Consider calling the police. It will literally save lives, okay? It's infuriating to know that Danielle took the coward's way out after her entire family. If there is an afterlife, I hope she's burning in hell right now for the pain and suffering she caused. Needless to say, this lady is actually evil. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please Thank you, my boy. Which I I didn't even get his name. I'm fucked up. Actually evil. Thank you, my boy, for giving us this insight. Uh, what I think about it? Excuse me. I'm tired, y'all. Father's Day was a crazy day, but um, yeah. What I think about it? That is actually fucked up. She should have seeked help instead of killing him. Is it? Jeez. That that shit, that shit is just even hard to think about. That's just fucked up. That's weird. These Lincoln GoFundMe bio, yeah, religious. I can see is crazy. Man, I wouldn't wish Coliseum my worst enemy. I when she isn't evil, her spiritual gifts slowly build. It's like seeing she snapped that night. Hey, who knows? Who knows? But anyway, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Cutie!